All right, we're going to get to the screwball uh, player name for this week. Uh, this one is is not not much of a shocker. It's the Urban Shocker, former sh- pitcher. Sh- shocker. <laughs> uh, you can say that the he wasn't shocking anybody with his with his with any of his totals. Um, the name Urban actually means of the city. So you can say he was formerly of the Yankees and the Browns. <laughs> he played uh, 13 years. Uh, he actually had uh, quite impressive stats: 187 wins. But he's 13 shy of the, the coveted 200 mark. So that to me, that's cool. Oh. But here's a shocker: he led the AL pitchers in WAR in 1923. Ah, that's pretty remarkable. I mean, uh, for a guy named Urban Shocker, he sounds more like a like a wrestler name, like <laughs> Shocker. He's coming to a he's coming to a suburb near you <laughs> from the urban area. Oh my God! What did, what the screwball name did you get? Uh well, uh. He's uh, a Canadian-born uh, former major leaguer, Stubby Clap. Oh, the great clapper. The clapper. Uh, born in Windsor, Ontario, a uh, former major league baseball player. Well, no, pro- professional baseball player, I must say. Spent 11 years in, base- in baseball, primarily in the minor leagues. He had a brief stint in the majors with the Cardinals hit- in 2000, hitting in the Mendoza line and one RBI. Yeah. Uh, he is best remembered for his performance in the 1999 Pan American Games for Team Canada. They played in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba, where he hit a bases loaded single in the 11th inning to beat the U.S. Uh, that game. Uh, Canada would eventually win the bronze medal in that uh, tournament. And um, Clapp, after his playing career, he served as a minor league coach and a third base coach. Uh, yeah, hitting coach, uh, manager, and uh, third base coach for Team Canada in the 2015 Pan American Games, and he's currently the Cardinals' first base coach. Nice, I'll be clap. I think he's pop famous for doing some flip or something too. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was in the, the clap on Pan American Games or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, so for our screwball moments uh, for this week, I have chosen George Brett's pine tar game. Oh, the infamous. The most historic incident. Greatest Tell us about it. Royal moment until they won the World Series. <laughs> July 24th, 1983. Kansas City Royals versus the New York Yankees. So basically the Royals were trailing 4-3 in the top of the ninth with two outs and then George Brett came to the plate. It's a two-run bomb. And then the Yanks manager, good old Billy Martin, noticed uh, the large amount of pine tar on Brett's bat. So he requested that the umps take an inspection. And uh, your favorite home plate umpire, Tim McClellan, Oh, good old Timmy. Good old Timmy. It's more, par- more pine tar than allowed. So he nullified the home run and Brett was called out. I mean, when they, they actually looked at it, it was only like three centimeters longer than, than the rule book says, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, but the American League president at the time, Lee McPhail, actually upheld the protest and he ordered the game to be continued from the point of Brett's home run. So the game actually resumed 25 days later and the Royals ended up winning 5-4. to four. So they ended up winning anyways. Um, apparently Martin and some of the Yankees noticed Brett had a lot of pine tar on his bat prior to the game, but they, they thought they'd wait to use it in kind of a strategic moment or something like that for their advantage. <laughs> um, but what, but the, pre- the president actually explained pretty well how the rule worked. And the rule was about the ball coming in contact with the, the bat full of tar and discoloring it, uh, which means you have to discard the ball itself, which means the home team would have to pay, to, to pay more to supply more balls but uh, that Brett wasn't deliberately trying to alter the bat to improve the distance back. Um, I mean, what, what would you call hitting a game losing home run? Like, <laughs> I mean, I, is, that, is that the real definition of a hit and run? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. What, this is one of the one of the weirdest moments of all time. Uh, Absolutely just outrageous. Just the visual of George Brett running out of the dugout. Real oh, game. God. He, he lost it, man. He lost he was about it. He to kill somebody. Uh, so <laughs> what, what, what do you got for the screwball moment? Oh, baby, you're going to love this, my friend. Uh, to continue my string of notable bad umpires and their oh. controversial games they've ever officiated, uh, Vic Carapazza uh, and his terrible jo- uh, job umpiring the game between the Cleveland Indians and the Toronto Blue Jays on Canada Day of all days I remember that game. in 2016. Uh, Vic Carapazza, as you know, he's no stranger to making horrible calls and ejecting players out of the game. Uh, he was the umpire for the uh, uh, 2015 uh, division series between the Rangers and the Jays. So the, the fans have never certainly forgotten about him. Uh, so in the, 
the July 1st game, uh, he ejected uh, Jays players Russell Martin, uh, Edwin Encarnacion, and manager John Gibbons. Uh, Carapaza apparently called nine Blue Jays out on strikes as opposed to the Cleveland Indians that only got one. Um, Carapaza, uh, one sportscaster, uh, called him uh, incompetent. And while another uh, personality uh, said that the game was a fireable offense, uh, <laughs> totally, uh, you know, uh, probably like many, many uh, player, many people would think that he's one of the least favorite umpires. Uh, however, however, in uh, the 2018 season, uh, based on a study conducted by Boston University, um, Carapaza was on the top. 10 in performance amongst home plate umpires in terms of accuracy and calling balls and strikes. Can you believe that? His error rate was only 8.05%. <laughs> My God. So uh, he just he just like woke up one day, smelled a pine tar, and just all of a sudden became a, a much improved umpire. I, except, I for, except for that day where Vicks Vapor rubbed people the wrong way. I, mean, <laughs> oh I can't possibly believe that. You must have paid them to, to skew those stats. Uh, yeah, it's Boston University. Like They, they have their own materials there that they, oh, that they yeah. study. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comments below.